revolve a function around the x-axis or the y-axis and you're getting confused, you're not the only one. Consider this function in the first quadrant. Here we have graphed it. If you need it to go around the x-axis, you're gonna make sure you're using x's here and these limits are the x values. So we're going from zero to two and we're using pi times the radius squared. The radius would be this as it goes around. When you put that in your calculator, you get 53.617. What happens if you rotate it this way around the y-axis? When you do that, you have to make sure you're using the y limits and use y values in your integral. Here was our original function. Here it is, solved for the x value. That becomes our r. And so this is the radius and it's gonna rotate this way. We have pi times that r squared and we are gonna go with the limits from zero to four. You're gonna get 25.133.